Creo 11 offers an enhanced conversion workflow and parameters and preferences handling as part of the full multibody support in Sheet Metal. In this example, we start with a regular part containing two solid bodies. In the shown workflow here, we first create a copy of the space claim body as we want to maintain and keep it as construction body. Then we name the new body and after that you can select it and invoke the conversion command. In our example, we want six outer surfaces to be converted to the first sheet metal body. The handling of sheet metal parameters and relations changed fundamentally in Creo 11. As Creo 11 supports sheet metal bodies of different material thicknesses and different sheet metal characteristics such as bent allowance settings, relief settings and so on, they are now essentially defined per body and driven by the body object. You can see and manage all part and body parameters from the modernized sheet metal preferences panel that lists the bodies underneath the top level part node. Body parameters are driving the behavior, but by default, the body parameters are grayed out as they are linked to the part parameters. The chain icon next to the body name B front indicates that linkage. The commands unlink from part and link to part allow to modify the behavior. The link to part option aligns best to previous workflows for single body models. And the new preferences panel allows to easily see and manage part and body parameters together. In the next step, we use the conversion tool to create edge ribs and edge bends on the sheet metal body. The edge rib operation created two separate volumes within the B front body. Formerly, they were called distinct pieces. Similar to regular part mode operations, we can now use the split by volume to split out one volume into a new body. This results in a second sheet metal body that we call B back. As next step, we create two more sheet metal bodies for the sides. The body B side 1 is created using the sheet metal offset feature with an offset value of 0. We then mirror body B side 1 to get the body B side 2 for the other side. Let's now investigate the sheet metal preferences panel. As you can see, bodies B front and B side 1 are directly linked to the part and all their body parameters are driven by part parameters. Bodies B back and B side 2 also have a grayed out thickness value as it is derived from the source body of the body split and body mirror operations respectively. This is indicated with the derived comment in brackets after the body name. In Creo 11 you can now convert further bodies into the type sheet metal. As the body thickness in secondary conversions can be the same or different from the first body thickness or part thickness, Creo uses the following logic to determine whether to automatically link the converted body to the part by default or not. Here we illustrate this first by setting the thickness of the converted body named BAD box to 3 mm, which is identical to the part thickness. As a result, Creo will automatically assume this to be intentional and link the body to the part. Let's now undo the conversion and start it over again. This time entering a value of 2.5 mm, which differs from the part settings. As a result, the body is not linked, showing a thickness value of 2.5 mm in contrast to the part thickness of 3 mm. The resulting effect is illustrated by changing the part thickness parameter from 3 mm to 6 mm and then back to 3 mm. This impacts all bodies in the design except the B add box body that eventually was defined with a different thickness of 2.5 mm and was not linked.
Creo 11 multibody concepts expand conversion capabilities and parameters handling to optimally support full multibody flexibility inside the sheet metal design part.